Hello everyone, it is King Benji back here again and you're welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at elements in Canva, more specifically shapes for most part. All right, so it's just going to be, all right, it's going to be like a quick video. So we're going to click on the plus icon over here and we're going to go to elements. All right, next we are going to go to lines and shapes. You're just going to go here and click on see all. And I'm just going to select the shape here. All right, so now as you can see, before... In Canva, you couldn't actually see all this on keyboard and all this other stuff here. You would only just see the color and um, just basically that's just it. All right, so let me just go over this. First of all, this is the color. I'm just going to change this to black here um, because I don't really love gray so much. So this is how to change the color of the shape. In case you want to write a text inside the shape, you can just tap on the keyboard there and you can just write anything. I'm just going to write happy. Oh, let's say Jesus Joy. That cuts it. And I can just go to, to, if I want to change the color of the text that is in there, because as you can see, you cannot see any text there. So we're just going to go to this here. All right, to change the color of the text, I'm going to change it to white. So you can see it over there, Jesus Joy. And the black doesn't rhyme with Jesus. So I'm just going to change this to purple, all right? Great. So it, um, now for this over here, is if you want to change the shape. As you can see before, it was a square shape. You can change it to circle rectum triangle upside triangle and different other shapes here all right so there are different shapes which you can change to we're just going to actually just use this one here um you can see the various types over here too or we can just use this one no we're going to use this one because i want to show you or yeah i'm just going to use a square i want to show you guys an example of something so these are different other shapes that you can use with canva all right, or let me say the ones that are available to you to use here. All right, so going over here, these are just like this. This just like the style. Okay, let's say you want to add a border to it. You just want to add a border to it, and you can just increase the border weight here. Okay, you can just keep it like that. If you want to remove the border, just go here once again and if you want to increase like the corner radius all right let me give it some round edges all right so he says as i increase it it becomes more rounder like a rounded rectangle so if i just kind of reduce it here you can see how it is okay just like in a very nice button okay so here is another thing i would love to show you um let us go to the color here all right and i'm just going to make it to be transparent as you can see there is now no color on it all right so let me show you something let's say you just want it to just have a borderline and then no fill color okay so i'm just going to increase the borderline here border width the borderline okay and yes they're also different um let me go back over there they're different styles of this border as you can see okay Though I wonder why you want to use these other ones, but I think this is just okay for me. So I'm just going to go over here. You can see I can just change it to purple. Okay. And the text still can't be seen. So I can just change it to purple here too. All right. So if you want to change the font of the text, you can just go here and literally just choose anyone you want. All right. So here, the one thing about fonts is if, remember what we said earlier when we were choosing um, a template or was it a template? I can't really remember so much. Anyone that has a crown, it's for pro users, okay? It's for pro users. Do not stay off, stay off it. The ones that do not have any crown in on it, these are very, very, um, these are free fonts and there are a lot of really nice free fonts. I'm showing you guys that in the next video. This is for Element, okay? So, um, probably I might just, this is just for the text. Is that these things here are just for the text here. We talk about that when we we're talking about text. Um, now this is for spacing. Let's say you want to give more spacing to the padding, which is just the inner space, like the space in between here, the text and then the box. All right. You might not use it so much, but anyways. Okay. And this is just like the line spacing. You guys, you understand when we are talking about text, this is letter spacing, which is the spacing between the text or the letter inside. All right. Great. So now this is for animating. In case you want to animate um, your element or whatever, I cannot do animations as I'm recording. For some reason, it just goes off. It's really a drag. It's really annoying. But anyways, we'll find a way to that. Okay. Now this is if you want to reduce the transparency, you can go here. 
Um, this is for position and this is for nudge. Okay, you just want to maybe shift some stuff just a bit by bit. Okay, um, this is for comment. We talked about that in the previous video. You want to add the comment on for the shape there. And um, finally, uh, this is for link. Let's say you want to add a link to this particular um, shape element here, or even if it was a text actually, or does that element. Let's say you just want to link it either to a design file or to an external link okay so now this is not going to work is when you download the file as a pdf it's going to be clickable all right it's a pdf not as a normal just like not like a social media post design there's no clickable link on your social media post design all right you want how that if how you want to make it work on your social media post design is if you are maybe adding a qr code or something all right which i showed you how to do in the previous video and now this is the more okay now that also shows all right sorry yeah for a stop which is to enable the quick flow enabling quick flow um it's another of canvas recent updates and not really so recent actually okay so here's how it works let's say you want to quickly create a different shape or yeah a different shape maybe you're having the same similarity or something something like that i'm just going to tap on any of these arrows and boom it goes to another shape thus okay it's really kind of efficient when you're maybe creating flow chats or <laughs> other stuff. I rarely use it unless when I'm about to do something like a presentation, right? Okay, so I can also change the shapes here to anything I want. I can move them um, anyhow I want and also other stuff like that. Okay, and also you can also edit the lines which are here. Let's say increase the those are actually arrows not lines actually anyways just play around here okay so another element i would love us to look at is actually line actually um because it's actually what is here <laughs> let me just delete all this all right so i'm going to click on the plus icon here and we're going to bring in a line Kind of like um, a little bit similar to shape but you can't actually change the shape of it because it is a line right so here you can in there's a line style where you can increase the line width and also change the different styles here all right i'm just gonna delete this here you can decide whether you want it to have rounded end points rounded end points here's what i mean like it's have this called the edges will be curved and if you move the rounded end point to just be straight like that all right i want it to be straight um here you can decide whether you want the line, the start of the line start. You go make it an arrow straight, make it an arrow, and you know other stuff. All right, I'm just gonna make it normal space. So this is for the left, and this is for the right. So yeah, this is to animate it, and also transparency, positioning, nudge, and there's other stuffs here. So here's one thing about line. Now you can also use it to connect, um, let's say a ship to a ship or a ship to a text is what I mean. So notice as I am holding here like this, you can see all these things that are going to be showing on the shape here. So I can just connect it here. All right. Now you're not really going to see the effect yet until let me just go and um, let me bring in a text. All right. I was going to bring in any text, let uh, me write um, Spirit of Joy, because they are connected, actually. Okay, so, and I can't give him the ugly font. <laughs> I can't give him the ugly font. I already used Codec Pro, right? And I'm going to change the color to that same purple. Yeah, so I can now just connect this to this. All right, now watch this. It's, as I'm moving all this um, text, the line just follows, all right? So that's just a bit about it. It's like, you know, kind of funny. You know? All right. So um, what else? Now, these are just, let me just show you a few ways to get elements in Canva. Because I've noticed that a lot of people find it hard to search for elements. Really, I'm the, a lot of people have asked me how I do. Now, number one is there's no trick to it. I don't know how to put it in that kind of way. There's actually really no trick to it. I'm just going to click on the plus icon now. And I'm going to go to elements now. And for anything that you actually want to get, you can literally just search for it. And you can be so creative with it. Let's say I'm searching for a gradient. I'm going to search for it and I'm going to see it. Okay. Basically, I think it's just basically knowing what to search for. Right? I'm just going to go to graphics. 
And this same thing applies to images. All right. So as you can see here, you can see different stuff here. Or let me see, I want to search for 3D heart. All right. So you can see loads of different stuff here. And I'm just going to tap on this first. All right. I'm just going to click there. Now, as notice, as I've brought it into the page, you can now see some magic recommendations. You can now go to see all and maybe see any of those ones that you would like to use in the future. And you will go and, you know, star. All right. Another thing that you can do, which I really love about Canva is, let's say I brought, I brought this into the page. I can search for see more like this. All right. And I can also check for the same. Um, I'm going to just view more of what was done by this same um contributor or kind of a creator all right and it's going to show me loads of it loads of it or if i'm going to search for a black friday sales i was going to search for it and uh i haven't really seen anything cool here but anyways yeah i love i love this this is something that i really love so i'm just going to tap on it and uh maybe i'm just going to tap here this is indonesia mm, and you can see there are other kind of like creative stuff here so basically, that's just how me, I actually get elements in Canva. Though I, most of the time, they are like, my top two elements are just um, these two, light effect or light circle, sorry. Light circle, all right, I use this on my images and on my text, all right? My images and my text, just to make them look a little bit kind of different and stuff. We will be seeing some of this stuff as we go on. Um, I don't want to make this video long. It's actually longer than I wanted, which is a huge drag. All right. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope I am not forgetting anything. Um... Okay, there's something I would love to show you. Now, let's say you want to search for your social media icons, um, anyone that you love to search for. You can just search for Instagram or any one of them, and you can see them here. Now, problem is, most of these stuff here are actually pro, right? I'm using my pro account, so um, um, I, I don't have an account. Any, anyways, so you can now go to more here, and you can scroll down to integrations. Now. These are the ones I would love for you to use. Let's say you just want to get some icons for free. I don't know if they are still here. I think it's either Icon Doc or uh, this one particular one. Yeah, Icon Scout, right? I love Icon Scout. So we're going to use Icon Scout. I'm just going to tap on it here. And it's going to tell me to integrate it. So I'm just going to click on use. And it wants me to create an account. Wow. I'm just going to sign up with Google. I wasn't expecting so much stress. I'm just going to send over this my Google account here, the one I use for Canva. All right, so I'm not going to grant access to it. So make sure you use the same account you used for Canva, right? So I can now come here and probably search for Instagram and I'm going to say it. All right, so you can see variety of it here. You can do this for Facebook, LinkedIn, and the rest. Here, um, there's something I know that is going to happen. So let me just click here and make this right. Okay, okay, I think because my network is good, probably it's working well, right? So you can just go over there and change color. Normally, if your network doesn't really not work well, um, it's the color might not change. So you might have to go to effect here and go to somewhere like Duotone to kind of change the color. We're talking about that when we are dealing with image effects, all right? Which is kind of like some videos away. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the end of this video and I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.